This news update is brought to you by... Say hello to Chelsea. Chelsea is a champion surfer, so she's accustomed to moving super fast, which is why she relies on super fast broadband brought to her through Flow's 100% fiber to the home network. It keeps her family sharing and surfing and saving each month. Combined, she bundles her Flow mobile, home phone, and TV services so she can enjoy much more for much less, and so can you. Visit any Flow retail outlet, call 1-800-804-2994, or visit discoverflow.co to find out more. One of a kind connection. This is how we flow. It's Tuesday, May the 3rd, 2016, and this is your Barbados Today Morning News Update. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Thanks for joining us. In our top story, the head of the most powerful trade union in the country has called on the electorate to kick Minister of Education Ronald Jones out of Parliament. This strong message came from General Secretary of the Barbados Workers Union, Tony Moore, following the minister's refusal to meet with the Barbados Union of Teachers to discuss a number of burning concerns, including violence in schools. Addressing the annual May Day rally at Bronx Beach Bay Street yesterday, Moore said Jones is a politician and should not be allowed to be a serving elected representative after displaying such behavior. Elements of the oligarchy remain entrenched in our political system. For when a minister of government can publicly declare his aversion and refusal to meet with the union body, if such a demand was made for an audience with him, we can't feel comfort in the fact that a certain kleptocracy is not overtaking our democracy. I want to issue a new flash for all those members of government and the opposition to share that kind of philosophy and that kind of thinking. A change is going to come in your thinking, or you better find yourself in some other vocation. Because serving the people requires that you engage the people. And if you don't go to the people, if you don't engage and take the people into your confidence, and then you reject the people when they come to you, then you should not bother trying to serve because the people should be of the mind to reject you at the polls. Meanwhile, President of the National Council of Parent Teacher Associations, Sean Gibbs, is appealing to the Barbados Union of Teachers to scrap its planned withdrawal from classrooms tomorrow. The union has given the assurance its members would not disrupt today's 11 plus examinations by staying away but would be calling out teachers to a meeting tomorrow to discuss the impasse with Ronald Jones. However, Gibbs says there's still room for both sides to resolve their differences without abandoning classes tomorrow. I would want to suggest that persons um, desist from any attempts to disrupt the school system at this time. I believe that we can come up with resolutions because at the end of the day, we still have to sit and talk to come up with solutions to the problems. And, and we need to get to the table as soon as possible. In more news now, some 2,000 public workers could be without medical insurance cover on June the 1st, and the National Union of Public Workers, Top Brass, is working against the clock to ensure it doesn't happen. Acting Deputy General Secretary of the NUPW, Wayne Warren, has revealed that the group medical insurance cover with the Insurance Corporation of Barbados, ICBL, will run out at the end of this month. Warren said it had originally ended in March, but was extended for another two months. He said this means the union would have to secure another insurance provider by the end of this month, and that's why it's having an emergency council meeting on Thursday at 2.30 p.m. We know there's an important aspect of a union benefit, and we, and we are aware that uh, before this, now look at performance of schemes. So we will want to ensure that by 1st of June, our members, uh, including retirees uh, members, with the, which also include retired members, we want to ensure that they continue to have insurance coverage with a provider. And that is why next Thursday we will want to have an urgent council meeting to ensure that we uh, make decision on a provider so that um, by 21st, which is not much we would have that in place for our members. Meanwhile, the union has been hit with a bill of more than $100,000 in legal fees resulting from the unfair dismissal case it brought against the state-owned National Conservation Commission. 
The case which was heard before the Employment Rights Tribunal on behalf of some of the retrenched workers is now awaiting the judgment of the tribunal. While the acting Deputy General Secretary would only commit himself to saying the bill was thousands of dollars, a senior official within the NUPW put it at over 100,000. However, Waldron told Barbados today the union would have to review the way it represents workers in any future cases of this type. We incur some of the regular costs and um, very expensive, and um, that is something we have to grapple with. Um, so I mean, we're really set up for the labor and labor itself. I think that first and labor relations that we're really representing it was not intended to be a rigid um, legal core there. We're really having to deal with the labor and labor relations that we're really representing. But I guess because this was the first case and you were looking at it, it was a rule, you wanted to be proven and get to live the administrative arrangements and so on. But in jurisdiction, trade unions do get involved in our own practitioners, labor relations persons who were in the So uh, I think we have to look at the very part and make sure that, uh, you know, that we treat any labor relations, we win any even in terms of how we start to represent these cases. But yes, it is very expensive once we engage with the person. It's a high cost in our state of our union. In sports now, Leicester City have won the Premier League title in one of the greatest sporting stories of all time. Tottenham's two-all draw at Chelsea yesterday confirmed a stunning achievement for Claudio Ranieri's side. Leicester started the campaign as 5,000 to 1 outsiders for the title after almost being relegated last season. But they have lost just three league games in what has been described as a fairy tale and the most unlikely triumph in the history of team sport. There's regional and international news after this short break. Your first friend, your first love, your first teacher. Show your appreciation for the first lady in your life. Send a photo of you and your mother to we love you mom at barbadostoday.bb to be featured in our special Mother's Day photo album and for a chance to win some exciting prizes. To mom with love. Welcome back with news from our regional neighbors now. Trinidad and Tobago has been dealt a major blow to its reputation abroad in the face of fresh crime wave. The United States has updated its travel advisory to that Caribbean Twin Island Republic by advising Americans to avoid several places in and around the city of Port of Spain. U.S. citizens have been warned about the risk of robberies and burglaries throughout the country including possible attacks on beaches and public parks. The advisory notes that violent crimes including assault, kidnapping for ransom, sexual assault and murder have involved expatriate residents and tourists, including U.S. citizens, and that the perpetrators of many of these crimes have not been arrested. On the international scene, scientists say they now have a near-perfect picture of the genetic events that cause breast cancer, the study published in Nature has been described as a milestone moment that can help unlock new ways of treating and preventing the disease. The largest study of its kind unpicked practically all the errors that cause healthy breast tissue to go rogue. Cancer Research UK said the findings were an important stepping stone to new drugs for treating cancer. That's news and sports. However, you can join us again this afternoon for more. Until then, remember to log on to www.barbadostoday.bb 
subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. Also, tune into Channel 99 on Flow TV and Mix 96.9 FM to get all the latest news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Have a fantastic day.